Oh, hi folks. Welcome back to another addition to this Let's Play of sorts. I apologize on the lateness and everything like that, especially for the fact that I didn't stream yesterday, Tuesday, uh, because I had problems that I had to deal with, especially right now, and uh, all that said and more. However, I am back again to basically continue off with the game. If you last recalled our last session, I rage quit near part because I had to do everything all over again. And it was basically two hours worth of stream, and that was that. However, today is going to be a really quick stream. It's not going to be a whole long time because my main, object my main objective today is going to be getting to one place in particular, which is um, going to the beach. And once we are at the beach, that's it. I, I stop. Because in the following sequence after that, it's going to take a fucking long time. And I don't have the time right now to deal with that shit. Especially with the saltiness I have gotten thus far in this game. So, I, right now, am at the point where I originally was before I rage quit. So you didn't have to see me get through the two keys. However, before I start, I'd like to point out two things that happened when I streamed this game. Or not stream, but when I played this game again. The first one was an interesting fact that I mistakenly thought was a glitch. And the other one is something that pissed me off more so with this game. So the first bit. If you recall when I was getting the second key, when I went into the dining room and I was shooting the zombies, I noticed in the distance that there was a villager running across going out in the garden way. And my mind thought it was a glitch because of the last segment, there was no other villagers. So in my mind I thought it was probably just an emulation bug. So I was like, whatever. However, playing it again, I realized that this was not a bug and she was put there on purpose. Because when I went back again to shoot the zombies in the dining room, I noticed all three of them were hovering around the one chick. And when I shot one of them and all of them focused on me, she ended up running out and escaping. So, originally that's what happened. However, after shooting the zombies, I immediately walked out, following the chick, only to find that she falls down to the pit. So, like, it's whatever. The second thing while playing this game that pissed me off is when I was going for the first key again. And let me just point this out, what I've just recalled. The first key is the hardest one to get, the second is mildly hard, and the third one is fucking easy. Do you think that's probably out of sync when it comes to the contradiction there? Just saying. Anyways. So when I was going for the first key, killing all the zombies, making sure that they were all not presented, I ended up getting to a point where... Oh, so I got some two viewers, good. So, when I went to the zombie place, um, with the first, the getting the first key again, I was shooting all the zombies, and when I went into the library room, I decided to go, alright, I have to shoot the fucking bats, right? Because they harassed me beforehand, so I figured I might as well deal with them. So, I went on the, the podium, and for some reason it didn't work. So, I thought to myself, okay, that was weird. But maybe it's one of those, it has to be the first area, and then it'll work on the second area, because it, it's stupid like that. So I was like, whatever, maybe I'll go to the area where the key is, and do that. So I go over there, press the B button, doesn't work. I look, and I was like, okay, now there's something problem. So I look up with the camera, and the bloody fucking bats are dead. So you mean to tell me... This game was fucking smart enough to save the fact that I killed the bats already. Oh, but God forbid, the two keys I already dealt with. Nah, fuck you, do them again. You see why I'm hating this game right now? The, th the second, third bit of this game is where it starts to get shit. Which is really pissing me off. But, 
I digress, water under the bridge, we'll move on, continue on. Now I'm going to show you what I should have done when I was getting the third key, because God forbid I was a fucking idiot. So let's continue on. So as you see, I got the ladder again, right? So you don't have to deal with me going through all that shit again. So go up here, right? If I can get jump. Thank you. Get some chocolate, right? And I'm going over here, and he's like, oh, look. There's a platform all the way on the other side, right? Hmm. Let's walk over here. Oh, look. There's a bone right here. Oh, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and just open this. Oh, look at that! The fucking door's open! Jeez, as if it was my fucking fault that they didn't explain this to me. Or, you know, maybe allow me to... Again, the other problem too is this fall damage build business is just really sensitive. Like, too sensitive. But anyways. Yeah, so it's, it's my fucking fault that the, the key business is just glitched like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me just fall down again. I figured I might as well go in an open hole instead of trying to jump my way over there. Again. It's getting to the point now where a lot of things are salt. But, here's the other thing. I looked at um, some reviews and talked about certain people to see if I'm not the only one who's feeling this way. Turns out I'm not. In fact, a lot of people would actually say that my uh, complaints are justified. Right? Oh, shit. Okay, get rid of you. There. Two zombies done. I do love the added detail that they go with the zombies when you shoot them in the thing. Like, again, presentation-wise, it looks beautiful. Game-wise, it's it's garbage. Because most of it, it's like it's less platforming. It's more fetch quest and doing this stupid shit and making you play certain games, right? And then the whole teaching you certain bits, right? Like the third part of the game or the first part of the game. It teaches you controls like how to do this and do that, but as soon as you get to like the pissing part, the fucking tutorial is no longer to be seen. Like, okay, what? Did the person in charge of the tutorial fucking died? Did he have a heart attack and Rare just forgot? Because it seems like that's the case. Anyways, all done. Got the key. In you fucking go. Yeah, so this is why I kind of stopped, like, when I rage quit, I stopped, like, at this point here, because, to me, oh god, I apologize on that. For me, I find that this part is just, like, going to be a di bit difficult due to the fact that it's going to require precision, um, rolling mechanics kind of deal. Because I'm basically going down that hill, and if I fall off, that's it. Now, this is just the only hard part, is going to be this going down the hill here. Once I get this part out of the way, then I'm in the clear. Here's the other complaint, too, because I'm playing this on the Rare Replay. Someone pointed out that um, the Jet Force... Oh, fuck. Controls, please. Yeah, see, here we go. Here we go, the bullshit. Come on, come on, first try. First try, baby. First try. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, oh! Okay, that deserves That this. was easy. Okay. Alright. Hard part done. Anyways, um... Mrs. P. Stain. Mr. L. B. Flops. Oh, I. B. Flops. Is there any other jokes here? <laughs> Mr. R sold. Mr. IP freely. <laughs> yeah, of course, the jokes of the names. I see nuts. Mr. C man. <laughs> and I think, oh yeah, there's one more here. 
It is Mr. R. Soul and Mrs. I oh no, it's the same thing. But as one person pointed out, in Jet Force Gemini, that also was an N64 game that was it what is in this collection. And someone pointed out that in that game, they allow you to change control settings. So you can make the game more suitable for using the modern day era. Instead of playing it like tank controls, like the N64 bit, right? Or the N64 kind of controller type, right? So the fact they were bothered enough to do that, and yet their main IP with Conquer, nah, fuck that. God forbid, we can't even do a whole lot of stuff. In fact, you probably get more benefits playing this stream-wise, like actually streaming it uh, through an emulator, than actually just, you know, doing what, like, playing this. Anyways, we got some nice poppies here. So, yeah, that whole bit was just to get up here. So we're done the spooky level, thank god. And we got some money. So how much do I bring up to? No, I believe there's actually what you call a milestone. Yep, here it is. Rare achievement unlock. Com collect, yeah, so this was one of those milestone type of deals. The other one too is just basically replaying the game over and over and over and over and over again. Oh yeah, and there's Mr. Birdie. Yeah. The, um, the scarecrow bit or whatever. So, basically, what we're going to now is probably the last level before the final act. And it is probably saved the worst one for last. Much like how Banjo-Kazooie saved probably the worst levels near the end. Also, it's weird that in this area alone, you don't lose any lives when you fall down from fall damage. But if you were to, I don't know, play in other levels, you basically just die from the smallest of jumps. <sighs> and then that happens again. Oh dear. Yeah, so this whole thing in the beginning of the game when I showed you money, that was where it was leading off to. And you know what, I'm actually quite curious about this. After playing this game outright, I originally also had Conqueror's Bad um, Live and Reloaded as part of the awful stream because people disliked that for certain reasons. I've, I'm actually questioning if uh, Conqueror's Live and Reloaded is actually that bad as people were saying it is. Because if it can make this game better in my opinion, then... I'd say people are in loads of shit when it comes to nostalgia. Because I think they may have improved some stuff, especially since that game was heavily with the um, online aspect with the shooter mechanic. So because this game became less of a platform and more of a shooter near the end of it, probably they've improved that stuff. So now we're going to go into a fucking cutscene. Because it's fucking wartime, baby. Okay. We are fighting an enemy like we have never encountered before. Oh God. They are evil beyond reproach. Where they have come from, I do not know. <laughs> we need to send them back to wherever it was they came from. We need you, soldier. Yes. You. Yes. Send Random villager. Yep, so as you can see, it's still nighttime, and now there's a war that's broken out with the teddies that were previously established. Oh, by the way, yeah, no, this game is one of those 
once you lose lives and that's it. Like, it doesn't save that, so that's good. So yeah, as you can see, this area that was once closed is now open. These barbed wires will hurt you, by the way, if you touch them. So you have to jump over them and then go into here. So basically, this stream, once we beat this section here and go into the next, is when I'm going to stop the stream. Because the next, like this whole bit coming up after this is going to be really terrible. And I don't have enough time as it is, so, you know. Conquer, stop reading the beaver magazine, please. Alright. So, where the hell are we at now? And here we go. Right, so these two jackasses are sleeping on the job. Flying an airplane, nonetheless. Right, and then they get shot down like, you know, you would in a war. Okay. Ooh, and there's TNT right over there. Hopefully it doesn't land in the TNT section. No. But it certainly blocked the path. Good. Nice. Oh god. <laughs> okay. I swear to God, it's just like, that's gonna be the quote for the video, is beep that beep. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Like, the, here's the thing, right? The story is certainly, like, really, really, really well done. Especially since it's been done by two guys. One of them a music guy. And the other one is just basically this, right? Certainly shows you something, right? Alright, so what I have to do is basically push this all the way over here because this next part is going to be a pain in the ass. And before I do anything, I know there's like big ass live ammunition coming over here. Okay, so I don't have to push it all the way over there. Just enough so it will probably stop the guy from going off the fucking rails. Yeah, I think that will probably do. So, I don't know what's going on over here. Oh shit, now I remember. There's these fucking bombs. Great. Why are there bombs here? They just stay there, by the way. They don't go after you. Despite them having legs, they don't go around you. Like, they don't go come after you. Alright. So, I'm just, I'm just observing the area so I know what I'm dealing with. You know, I could have just done that too. I think they also do respawn, so yes they do, okay, so. Okay, so, go away from there, I'm gonna do this. Okay. And yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass too, by the way. So go over here. Wow, really, there's nothing else that pops up, okay, there we go. Then we go over here. Go up here again. 
And then that should give us to the clear. Yes, it will. Okay. So then you just go over here. All right. Gotcha. Alrighty then. So that area is basically scoped out. Let's go to the other side. The reason I'm just scoping this out. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah. The power nodes are down. Yeah. They need to have some electricity put through. Okay. How you gonna do that? I don't know. Suffice to say, there's an electric eel in there and some things. I leave it up to you. Yeah, basically we're going to have to use the electric eel to power up these fucking things. So we have two things we have to do. We have to clear the gate, or clear the, um, this thing. And the second is to basically get the power on. For what reason, I have no idea. Though I believe I should get the power on regardless first, because that is the only way to deal with this thing here so I might as well do that first but first things first let's just see this ammunition thing yeah. so they jump like this and then they basically go around like what is inside these so called ammo cases that have well good thing I basically test trial that so now I know that that thing exists and we got smaller crates. Same thing. And then we got this again. Why does this go up and down too, by the way? Why why does this need to exist over here? Okay, so that this area seems to be a little bit more easier and the other side's a little bit more in the vein of difficulty, so. So what I have to do is basically get this eel to not zap me. But basically, I'm going to need to trick this eel to go through the power generator stuff. Because as you see, there's like stuff down there, right? You know, if the fucking camera can fucking work with me instead of fighting me, right? Come here, bitch. Come here. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Go down. Yep, there we go. Come on, bitch. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Come on. Come over here. I think this is the last one we need to do, I think. Yep, it is. Good. Fucking killed it. Good, it's dead. It, it electrocuted itself, which makes no sense, but okay. Yeah, so that's done. And now we got a B button. Which is gonna be needed, by the way. So. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the right side first, since it's easier, and the, the other side over here with the mines is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Once I get this stuff done, it should be pretty much the end of this segment. Once this end, this segment ends is basically when I will end. Because, again, I'm under some time. I wanted to do some sort of streaming a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that kind of shit. So anyways, up here is TNT. But, um, it's just a flat room. What looks like, well, it's supposed to be a bathroom, but it looks like a fucking flat door, so see what happens when we knock in. Oh, okay, so it's not a flat door. Oh my oh you got a problem. hi hi there, little fella. I I are you the janitor? No. I I don't suppose you have any uh uh like toilet paper? Oh god. No, I'm not the janitor. Could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I, I think I'm starting to gag. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I'll come out now. Good, good, please. Please do me a favor and get out of the toilet. I, I, I seem to have this thing.
chain attached to my back. I, I, I can't see what it is. Oh. Well, now you need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get about back there and, you know, give me a hand. Ah, uh, well, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Coming out with this guy. Can I get myself stuck in the toilet area or no? I don't know, maybe I'll try that later. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to get in here, right? No, okay. So, as you can see, this poor bastard has a TNT on his back. And, um, as you know, we needed to clear some things. And, um, let's put the two and two together. We pretty much can establish that we're gonna need to... If the camera doesn't fucking just... Oh, God. Oh god, please. Come on. Yeah, so the camera is fighting me back here, by the way. Come on. And luckily, I don't have to be back there to push him, so... There we go. Yep, and that stops him. Good. See, if I didn't do that, if I didn't have that there, this bastard would just fall all the way down here and blow up. Which I don't want. So my goal is to get him over here, but hopefully the camera doesn't fight me. So come on. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a little bit until this third crate kinda comes here. I'll get it here. No, you won't. Oh my god, fucking controls, please. <sighs> wait again. I'll get it here. No, you won't. Instead, you will be... Oh. Yeah, no, you'll be in the corner there. Okay, good. Yeah, no. Come on. Oh my god. The fucking controls is so weird and inverted. Like, I'm going straight and then the camera turns around and it's just like, Oh no, we're now going this way. Good. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, controller, please. So basically what I'm doing is like, character's going straight, no, he's going up. If I go right, or go the other way, oh, 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 okay, good. Oh god, please. Oh my god, please. That was fucking close, by the way. Come on, come on, come on, over here, okay, good, alright, so we're, ah, uh, one, one problem. So now we're gonna do this part here. So we're gonna. I'll do it here. Yeah, you do that. Give me a sec. Can't believe it. <laughs> you push him into the wall. Why don't you conquer? Good job. Oh God, please! I got. Oh. Fucking controller. Fucking camera. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no! Fucking ammunition box! Fucking controller! Rest in pieces. See why I wanted to just do this part only? This is probably gonna take me a goddamn hour to do. Which I don't have, right? So. God forbid, I want to get this done and over with. And I really wanted to do it on my first try, but it doesn't seem like it. It's like the camera's fucking fighting you for this whole thing, which is stupid. So let's go back in here. And magically, there's another guy in there. Yeah, see? Look at that. I love it, the character has no idea. It's like, he, it's like every time he dies, he just respawns in this area. Good, I want to be in the toilet. This is, this, this is where I deserve to be in this thing. Anyways. At least the game is smart enough to know that not to lock me in there and thus... 
Jesus. Oh. It's like I'm controlling. I control. Why does this have to be so hard? Like, really? It did not need to be this difficult. Just because the camera wants to be in my way. <sighs> Take two. Camera, would you please not fuck me? Yeah, no. Okay, good. Yeah, go ahead and fuck me then. Yeah, fuck me hard. Why don't you? Oh, God, please. Please. Guy, please. Just go. Yeah, you know what? No, go over here then. Just wait. Oh, my God. Can I just... Can I just move... Come on. Okay, thank God. One part done. One part done! Come on! Oh, thank God he wasn't near the hitbox, but come on, please. Oh, no. Don't you dare go into the water, man. This, this does not need to be this difficult. Oh, God. Okay, thank God. Thank God you sit down, man, because I figured that you'd probably die. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, good, Conquer. Good. Just be be against me when you control the game. Gotta do this now. Come on, now. Come on. Come on, game. Just work with me! Work with me! It doesn't need to be this difficult. I swear to God. I swear to God! Take me two fucking hours just to do this sequence just because the control scheme is just so backward ass. I'm trying to turn and then my the fucking camera screws me over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Good, yeah, no. Bye, bye. Yeah, good. No, good. Bye. Great. What a great predicament I have here. Yeah, good, good I'll sit. sit phase into the bar, why don't you? Blow up in my fucking face and make me fall down in the river, why don't you? I swear, this is this is gonna be the only part of the game I'm gonna be able to just like why I'm just deciding to stay in on this part because already 30 minutes. Also, I might be I might be hallucinating things, but I'm hearing like firing going on, and it's making me think that perhaps there will also be bits where the game will fucking fuck with me and just shoot these guys regardless. Yeah, just go back in the bathroom, why don't you? I feel sorry for these twats. God, this game's making me swear like oh. British. Okay, into the wall! Good. Down you go. I'll be here. No, you won't. You will come and follow me. And hopefully the game won't fuck me, which it is right now. Why can't the game just work with me? No, instead it wants to be against me. It wants to be my enemy. That's what it wants. It wants to be basically like, if you look this way, controls like this. And it, it's just like... I'll get here. Like, like, look at this. I'm not wanting to put... I want him to go right. But the game controller, when I'm looking through camera and whatnot, it just likes to change its controls because it doesn't explain I'll to me. Like, it could just let me just go one way. But now we have to make this complex because... Fuck the gamers. Because if if we, if we, God forbid, made this game easy, it would just be two hours worth of gameplay. We can't have that. 
Wow. We need to make this 10 hours. Oh. Yeah, okay, good. Go into the hole then again. Because apparently, that's all I'm good for is just putting you in holes. Good, this goes straight now. Yeah, go into the wall! Oh. This is what I'm talking about. The controller is just fucking with me right now, and I have to stop. Sit down, please. Thank you. Okay, don't move. Oh. Mm. Oh. So now we got to the third part. If we can get through this, then we might be able to make it. So long as the hitbox doesn't fuck with me. I'll just sit here. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. I swear, if the control actually worked as it's supposed to, this segment would probably be less long than it should be. But no, it's not. It is really shit. Story, yeah, it's funny, it's it's interesting. I love what the technicality of it, that it actually puts the N64 to its limits of what it can do. I mean, the game basically was like 64 bits. Like, they basically just pushed the system out, like, with everything it got. But that being said, if the game's not worth playing, then why even have it? Right? So, look, I'm gonna go one way, right? I'm gonna hold one way. And then now the game is controlling me differently. So now I just have to do this. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Good. And then get, get, get me squish as well. Good. Fine. Let me go to the other side. Maybe it'll be more easier. I swear, if I go to the other side and I end up beating it like in one go, I'll be dumbfounded, but I don't think that will be the case. Like, really, I hate this part here. Will he actually hit the box? Yes, you all. All right, good. Hey, you. No. I'll do it here. No, you won't. Come on, stop. Conquer. Stop. I'll do it here. Come on. We're going to an area that looks like it's blank, but no, it's not. And then, yeah, thank you, camera. The camera's fighting with you. Like your camera. The camera's the enemy to you in this game. It's not the it's not the fucking robots, not the teddy bears, it's not those fucking spiky guys. No, it's the camera. The camera's your fucking enemy. Being controlled by the Panther King's goons. <laughs> you know, at some point I'm just gonna wanna quit. It's like one of those games where I just it doesn't help, too, that I'm trying to rush this out when I can't. Like, look, look. I gotta go... Oh, good. My controller batteries are low. Hold on a second. Give me a sec. I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try this new thing out. Yeah, so I have no batteries now. Good. That's fine. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna put these fucking other batteries in. And I also got myself a wire controller because Microsoft, the only fucking company besides anyone else who decided to thought, oh yeah, let's give them AA batteries for our controllers because it, it's not like we can't have it before. No. So it works. How much of the battery is in this one though? Hold on, can I check? Yeah, so it's decent size, so it should be fine. Like, brand new out of the box, kind of like, rechargeable things for the Xbox One. <laughs> it's like I'm driving a fucking car. 
No, please. It's like I have to inch him. Ever so small. Because I can't trust where this next thing is going to be. So you have to hear him going, Come out! Yeah, no, good. Heavy! Heavy! They're most likely going to be up top, dummy. Go down. For now. Oh my god. This does not need to be this hard. I swear to god. It does not. Yeah, see? As I thought. Go down. Do not beep, please. Do not. What? You know what? If I don't beat this within an hour, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm I'm basically done with this like segment, right? I'm just gonna basically say that. Because I don't have enough time to fucking dick around with this, right? I want to fucking beat this section. So that way I can end the stream. I wanted it to be done and early with, but oh no. Fuck me, right? Good. Yeah, no, do that. Do that weird ass fucking animation there. I'll be fit here. It just couldn't be as simple as just taking a TNT and then just rolling it. You know, like, like, God forbid, you know, they introduced us with the rolling mechanic with the barrel. God forbid they could just do that for us, or maybe even that fucking bomb bit. No. Instead, this game likes to just do this thing where it introduces one little fucking minigame segment, right? Because that was just the 90s things to do in platformers. And instead of actually making it fun and worthwhile, it was fucking tedious and nuisance. Right? Oh, please. Let me pass this area. Oh yeah, good. No, kill him. Oh good, so it doesn't kill him, but it kills me. Well, at least I know that he's not going to get himself hurt. Good. No, come up here. Oh. Please don't, don't, don't. Oh my God! Finally. Fuck! Finally. I'll just stay here. You go on. Yeah, go ahead. You rest. Yeah, there you go. Poor guy. Good. Just, just rest there, buddy. I'm sure, I'm sure it wasn't like I pushed you all the way over there just for one particular reason. No, not at all. And I'm sure I have to get rid of him before I can get another guy, so, you know, it's not like I can have two guys there. I have to have one or the other, so. Let's get rid of him. Yep, it's our old friend, the fucking rain. Goodbye. No. Here we go. Goodbye. I'm surprised he didn't take that thing off him. Good, so now he's dead. And now the thing just magically just opened up a gaping hole. So now we have to do the other side, which is basically just these fucking... Bob wire. So let me just go ahead and quickly just. Okay, so down, two down. One up near the chocolate. Two up near the chocolate. Okay. Good. Oh. 
The chocolate is a fucking jape, so let's not go for the chocolate then. So once that, then immediately go up, because there's one here. Go here, go straight, past that chocolate. Then down here, go down, up here, up, and then we're in the clear. Okay. Alright, so I get the pattern now. Basically, you have to go up and around like this. Go down. No. Go up, then down. Yeah, see, up, then down. Then up. Alright. To avoid these two things. Alright, good. I know what I'm doing now. Let's hope that I can control it so I can get to it. Push me away, good. Yeah, no, good. This, this, just, just ram your head in against the wall. Yeah, no, that's good, good, good game, good. Uh, I seriously want to beat this game because I want to be the. Uh, I just want to beat it, right? So first thing, yeah, go fuck your, go fuck around the wall here. Yep, go fuck around the wall. Wait until these jackasses pass by. Yeah, one. Okay, so I guess not all of them showed up. Okay, there's that. There's another one. And then we're gonna go here. Okay, good. Good. Alright, now it comes to the hard part. I'm gonna go up, down, up. Okay, come on. Up. There. Go down, go down. <laughs> the nightmare is finally over. I'll be with it here. Oh, okay. Fuck. All right, we we're beating the one hour limit. Thank God. Good. After I'm done this, then then we're finally done with this. Oh my god. That area, second try. The other area that I thought was gonna be easy, three fucking tries. Can I hit? Yep, okay, first time. Good. And we're done. Sorry. And this is now done. Good, so am I done now? I am, so... Yep, see, so I go down here, and then that basically achieves this area. Tell them, we're done. Yep. Wow. What an asshole. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to end it tonight. I can't... I can't handle it. <laughs> this game... This next part is going to be fucking terrible. I swear to God it is. I'm just going to double check to make sure... Okay, it looks like it's going to, like, okay, I already played it for eight hours, right? Okay, good. So it does start me off where I want to. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here, and, um, uh, I will, um, I might not be on tomorrow because I have a friend coming over for Thursday, but if he does want to play with me with this and wants to be recorded with, then maybe we can do something with that. But I highly doubt it. So what you're probably looking at is Friday me trying to complete Conquer for the full time. Then moving on to getting all the special extra stuff like the multiplayer to show you that. As well as um, 
I'm just thinking about this. As well as, if I can recall, um, also showing you one other Conquer game because it's relatively short and not hard to do. And after that, I'll be all conquered out, and then I'll have to take a few days just to readjust myself and get stuff going. I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back on sometime next week. We'll see. I have to readjust it because I have plans on what I want to do for Valentine's Day for a certain game to come out. So there's that. Anyways, I'm just going to end off here. So, you know, have a good night and all that stuff and more. Bye. Great, what a great predicament I have here. Yeah, good, good wow. sit. Phase into the bar, why don't you? Blow up in my fucking face and make me fall down in the river, why don't you? <laughs>